Now, it was the snowiest winter in the last 30 years. One morning, local police officer Chris was patrolling the area. Suddenly, he noticed a suspicious young lady. She was walking towards the road and carrying two heavy bags. Chris asked her what was in the bags. The lady said she had broken up with her boyfriend and packed his stuff to get rid of it. But Chris knew for sure that she was a burglar. How? She got out of the house through the window. People don't do that when leaving their own homes. Noah was an alien on a mission to investigate human behavior on vacation. He landed near a popular sand beach in Malibu. Noah put on a special human-like costume and hid in the crowd. Special Agent Sam was sent to the beach to deal with this issue. Sam arrived and questioned people at the seaside. He warned them that aliens might look like humans, but no one seems to have noticed anything suspicious. Take a look at these vacationers. Which one of them is the alien? That's right, the guy on the left has four arms. Yeah, that's a clue. Agent Sam caught the alien, but Noah changed his appearance and managed to escape. Sam noticed a weird figure jumping inside a train. The man decided to stop the train to check all the passengers. Look at the picture attentively and help Sam find the alien. The old man in the right corner is the alien. He's holding a book upside down. Vicky was working on her laptop in a coffee shop. At one point, Vicky needed to go to the bathroom. She decided it'd be safe enough to leave her stuff unattended and headed to the bathroom. But when the girl returned, she found out that her backpack and her laptop were missing. Oh, no. Vicky ran outside and saw three elderly ladies with picnic baskets sitting in the park. The girl asked them if they had seen the thief, but all three of them assured her they hadn't noticed anyone. Ms. Green said she had just joined her friends. Ms. Smith was eating her sandwich and reading a newspaper, and Ms. Jackson was taking pictures of birds. Vicky called the police because she knew for sure who the thief was. How did she figure it out? Ms. Green stole Vicky's things. The red backpack strap is hanging out of her picnic basket. Paul stayed late at the library. When he finished studying, he headed home. As he was walking down the dark hallway, he heard a voice coming from the men's locker room. Paul noticed that someone had locked the door from the outside. Paul opened it and saw Tom. The guy had no idea who had locked him in. He went to the swimming pool, but it was closed that day, so he decided to go home. Suddenly, someone turned off the lights and locked him in. Paul promised to find the culprit. The next morning, he questioned his classmates. Courtney said she had been working on her project in the classroom. Josh said, I swam in the pool for a while and then went to play basketball. Bob was with Courtney, but he left earlier to celebrate his granny's birthday with his family. Paul understood who was lying right away. What about you? It was Josh. The day before, the swimming pool was closed. Andrew is a photographer. He was walking alone in the wilderness and met a puma. The guy was very lucky and managed to escape. But he found out that his filter water bottle opened when he was running away from the animal. Now he didn't have any water left. Some time passed and Andrew got very thirsty. He had three options. The first one was to drink from a salty lake. The second, to drink cactus juice. And the third option was to get water from a muddy stream. Help Andrew uh -oh. make the right choice. The third option is the least dangerous. You can't drink water from a salt lake, it won't quench your thirst. If Andrew drank cactus juice, he would get poisoned. But his filter bottle can easily clean muddy water. It has 13 hearts but no other organs. Ooh, what's the name of this creature? It's a deck of cards. 
What can you catch but never throw? A cold? A team of video bloggers headed to a famous haunted house to make a video about the mysteries hidden inside. When they arrived, they didn't see anything strange. The house didn't look creepy at all. The guys walked up to the building, but cameraman George turned around and refused to enter the house. His friends tried to convince him, but the guy insisted they should leave the area immediately. His friends ignored his warnings and entered the building. George was waiting for them in the street all night, but they never came out. Look at the picture and try to detect what was wrong with the house. Look at the ground. All footprints lead to the house, but there are no footprints leading away from the building. Ooh. I always run, but I never walk. I have a mouth, but I never talk. I have a head, but I never weep. What am I? That's right, I'm a river. Look at the picture. Can you spot a burglar? That's right, the thief is inside the house on the left, standing next to the window. One Saturday morning, two sisters, Jenny and Maya, played hide-and-seek at home. It was Jenny's turn to hide, and she decided to bring the game to the next level. So she got on her longboard, left the house, and hit the road. Maya counted to 100 and began looking for Jenny. She searched the entire house, but didn't find her sister. The teenager started to worry. She went out to the street and decided to ask the neighbors. Alice said she had been mowing the lawn all morning and hadn't seen anyone. Derek said he had been woken up by the sound of longboard wheels. Lisa said she had been on a business trip and had just returned. But Maya knew for sure that one of her neighbors was lying. Who was it? Alice lied. Take a closer look. Her lawn isn't mowed. What letter of the alphabet is also an organ in the human body? It's the letter I. Ay ay ay. A princess escaped from a dragon who kept her in a tower. She was walking along a dark underground hall with a sand floor when suddenly she saw three tunnels. A fire was blazing inside the first tunnel. Toxic acid was dripping from the ceiling in the second tunnel. And the third tunnel was filled with venomous scorpions. Five minutes later, the princess got to the surface and ran through the forest toward her kingdom. Which tunnel did she choose? The first tunnel. She put out the flames with sand. Smart princess. I can be touched, but I can't be seen. What am I? The heart is the right answer. Look at the picture. What's wrong here? The sign says, fresh meat. Mike woke up in the middle of the night because he had a nightmare. He looked around and realized he was trapped in a weird house. Mike searched the place and found four doors to freedom. But the first door led to space. Behind the second door, there was a giant magnifying glass. Anyone who stepped inside would be burned by the sun in no time. The third door was hiding a pride of hungry lions. And behind the fourth door, there was an ocean swarming with sharks. Help Mike choose the right door. It's the second one. Sun rays aren't dangerous at night, and Mike can easily walk through that door. A billionaire businesswoman, Nancy, arrived at the police station. She was very upset. She said that her daughter Diana had disappeared. 
The day before, Nancy told Diana she would no longer give her money if Diana didn't go back to college. They argued because the girl didn't want to work or study. After that, Diana went out to get some fresh air and disappeared. Later that night, Diana called Nancy from an unknown number. She said, Mom, I've been kidnapped. Three guys put a black bag over my face and pushed me into their car. They want $5 million. We're driving through a desert. The men are wearing bunny costumes. The detective told Nancy not to worry. Diana staged her own kidnapping to get the money. How did he understand it? If Diana had had a black bag over her head, she wouldn't have seen the men's costumes or the desert. Wendy is an art teacher. This morning, someone pranked her by putting glue on her coffee mug. She questioned three suspects. Blair says, I didn't do it. I was too busy painting these beautiful flowers. Jason says, I overslept and came to the studio later than you. And Zara says, Why would I do that? You're my favorite teacher. Who did it? It was Zara. There's a glue pen in her pocket. Wendy gives her students a task and leaves the studio. After a while, she returns and sees this painting. She says, wow, who painted this masterpiece? Three students claim to be the author of the painting. Can you guess who tells the truth? To solve this mystery, we should take a look at their palettes. Only this student has all colors that match the painting. Wendy goes outdoors to buy some food for lunch. Suddenly, she sees a cyclist lying on the ground. Can you guess what happened here? In fact, the car hit the ketchup bottle. The cyclist just fell nearby and got stained. Wendy receives a delivery. Three identical boxes with artist supplies. All boxes are labeled incorrectly. Wendy needs to label all boxes correctly by opening just one of them. Can you help her? Since all three boxes contain the wrong items, Wendy should open the third box. If it contains watercolor, the first box will definitely have brushes, and the second box, watercolors and brushes. And if she finds brushes in the third box, the first one will contain both watercolors and brushes, while the second one, watercolors only. The delivery guy walks outside and yells, Hey, call the police! Someone stole my car! The police begin an investigation and find these three suspects. One of them is a thief. Can you guess who? The first guy is just coloring his fence, and the third one is a gardener. But the second guy is hiding a lockpick in his shirt pocket, so he's the thief. Wendy comes to a party. Three guys invite her to dance, but one of them is a werewolf. Can you guess who? The first guy is just wearing a werewolf costume. The second one has some scratches, but it proves nothing. But the third one has a real wolf tail. After the party, Wendy wakes up in a cell made of ice. She only has a pickaxe in her hand. Meanwhile, her best friend Zach is locked in a similar cell with a drill. Can you predict who will escape? Only Wendy will escape. Zach can't use a drill without electricity. The next day, Wendy arrives at the art studio. She leaves her takeaway coffee at the desk and goes to the toilet. Wendy returns and finds out that someone had drunk her beverage. She checks the cup surface for fingerprints, but she only finds her own traces. Wendy questions three suspects among students. Blair says, Sorry, I've been washing my brushes in the sink. I didn't look at your desk. Jason says, 
Sorry, I don't like coffee. And besides, I've been streaming stories for my followers. And Robin says, I was changing in the dressing room to be a model for portrait class. Can you spot the thief? It was Jason. Take a look at his back pocket. He's hiding rubber gloves. That's why he didn't leave any fingerprints. Wendy receives an emergency call. Someone had stolen paintings from her art studio gallery. Wendy interrogates three suspects among the visitors. Sarah says, I came here to buy some of your paintings, but when I entered the gallery, the walls were empty. Jill says, I went blind seven years ago, so I didn't see anything. I only visit this gallery to use your toilet. And Robert says, why would I rob this place? I'm the major investor. Who's lying? Jill, if she's really blind, why did she bring this photo camera with her? Wendy carries out entrance exams for art students. One of these three artists is left-handed. Can you guess who? It's the third guy. It's easier for lefties to hold a palette in their right hand and paint with their left. This way, his left hand works and the right one stays static. During exams, one guy named Bobby gets very sick and faints. Wendy calls the ambulance and takes him to the hospital. She's just met Bobby, so she doesn't know his relatives. But still, Wendy manages to notice his wife in the hospital right away. Can you spot her too? It's the first lady. They have identical tattoos. And the third lady has a similar mole on her cheek. So she's probably Bobby's sister. Doctors suspect poisoning. So they keep Bobby in the hospital to make tests. Meanwhile, Wendy returns to the studio and questions three witnesses among the applicants. Sheila says, Bobby didn't look healthy in the first place. I don't blame him. Everyone was stressed out during exams. Sam says, I have no idea who poisoned him, but this person is heartless. And Xavier says, I think Bobby's just pretending to be ill to get accepted out of pity. The next day, Bobby calls Wendy with the test results. He was poisoned. Wendy calls the police right away and they arrest one of the witnesses. Can you guess who and why? Sam, he knew about the poison before the test results were ready. Once upon a time, there was a happy family living in a house in the shape of a dome. There was a mother, a father, their daughter, a chef, a maid, and a puppy named Oliver. One day, mother and father came back home and found out that Oliver had gone oh, missing. No. They asked who was the last one to walk him, but everyone denied it. The daughter said, I was reading. The maid said, I was dusting the corners in the house. The chef said, I was a baking an apple pie. Who is responsible for Oliver's disappearance? The maid. There's no corners in a dome-shaped house. Mrs. Lawrence has three daughters, Ava, Bethany, and Chloe. She's about to have another girl. What do you think she'll name her? Riley, Daphne, or Ava? Mrs. Lawrence seems to follow the alphabet, so I bet she'll name her fourth daughter Daphne. In the middle of a pond, there's a little island, and there's a butterfly sitting on a rock. If it swims north, it's two minutes to the mainland. If it swims east, it's three minutes to the mainland. If it swims south, it's one minute to the mainland. If it swims west, it's five minutes to the mainland. Which way should it swim? It shouldn't swim either way. Butterflies fly. 
Once upon a time, an evil witch kidnapped three women and turned them into rose bushes. One of the women begged the witch to see her husband before she left him forever. The witch agreed. She took the woman home for the night and returned her to her rose bush state the next morning. The woman had warned her husband, and the husband was following them to rescue his wife. Look at these three identical rose bushes. Which one is his wife? The rose bush that was his wife doesn't have any of the night's dew on the leaves. A married couple went on vacation. They locked up their house and gave the keys to a neighbor, along with instructions on what to control and maintain in the house. Just in case, the wife hid her jewelry in a safe place. While they were on vacation, there was a power outage in the house. There was no electricity for a couple of days, until the neighbor uh -oh. came back to check the house. The neighbor cleaned everything up by the time the couple got back. The wife couldn't find her jewelry. The neighbor swore that he didn't touch it. Where did the jewelry go? The wife hid them in a freezer. After the power outage, everything melted and the neighbor threw out all the food and jewelry as well by mistake. Now, a tricky question for you. What is the difference between electricity and lighting? You have to pay for electricity. Anna is bilingual. She speaks English and German. She had four exams to write, English, Math, History, and Geography. She wasn't prepared for them well, so she wrote all of them in German. All teachers returned her tests because they couldn't understand anything and suggested she write the test on a different day, in English. Still, one teacher could understand what she had written and gave her an F. Which teacher was it? It's the math teacher. Mathematics is all numbers, and they're the same in most languages. So the teacher could understand everything and check the exam. It's an early Monday morning. William and Daniel are both driving to work. Who is not being smart? Daniel, he hasn't fastened his seatbelt. It's not safe. James and Delaney are getting ready for a big family barbecue in the evening. James is cooking and Delaney is busy with all the decorations. Who is not smart? James, he's cooking in the direct sun and there's milk standing right there. It'll go bad very fast. Riley and Tessa are doing house chores. Riley is vacuum cleaning the house and Tessa is outside shoveling the snow. Which one of them is in danger? Tessa, look, she's standing right below big icicles hanging off the roof. Every day, a woman was seen crossing the border carrying bags of sand on a motorbike. After some time, the border police got suspicious and stopped her. But they found she had only sand in those bags, uh -oh. so they let her go. What was the woman smuggling across the border? The answer is right in front of their nose. She's been smuggling motorbikes. Jonas lives on a farm. He just bought seven horses. He's riding one of the horses, leading the rest to his farm. On the way, he's counting the horses he has, but he can only see six. Problem, he paid for seven. He takes off, walks away, and counts the horses again. Seven. Everything is correct. He hops up on a horse and keeps riding home. Midway, he's counting the horses again. Six. What do you think is his problem? Ah! 
Jonas always forgets to count the horse he's sitting on. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.